Well, winning bowl games and breaking records from running back Journey Brown setting a new school bowl record to Micah Parsons just absolutely dominating on the field this afternoon. Penn State ends their season with an 11 and 2 record. Pretty good if you ask me, but let's take you to the highlights right now. The 84th Cotton Bowl between Penn State and Memphis from Jerry World. This game started fast. First quarter, Penn State down 3 to nothing until Journey Brown goes superhuman on everyone. 32 yards to the house. Penn State goes up 7-3. to three. Much to the liking of new OC Kirk Sharaka. Second quarter now, Nittany Lions up 21-13, and it's Brown again. This time, 56 yards through a hole. He finished with 202 yards on the ground and two touchdowns. Penn State led 35-23 to 23 at the half. It's a 38 to 36 game now. <clears throat> Memphis with the ball, but Micah Parsons, what a game he had. 14 tackles, two forced fumbles, here forcing a bad throw, and Garrett Taylor picks it and takes it to the house. One final chance for Memphis, but Marquise Wilson steps in the way. Penn State wins it 53 to 39. Parsons and Brown named a defensive and offensive MVPs, respectively. We now send things down to Texas, where sports director Peter Terpstra is live inside AT&T Stadium with more on this wild bowl game. Peter, did you get all that confetti out of your hair? Well, Rosie, there's no more confetti. The longer I stand here, uh, the better chance there is that I get run over. They're tearing up the turf because the Cowboys are playing here tomorrow. Really quick turnaround, as you saw. Penn State won the Cotton Bowl. That's great. It wasn't pretty at times, but they got the dub, and now it's time for the happy flight home. Both teams ran up the score, but only one team ran the rock. Penn State running back Journey Brown is your offensive MVP with 202 yards and two touchdowns. I told people that I'm just not fast. I've been telling people this all the time. So, I mean, just for me to be able to show it and uh, finally get. Uh, proof, I guess you could say, that I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a balanced back, all around back. Uh, it feels good. I don't know if that was exactly how we planned it out, um, that's for sure. But uh, we, were, we were having our way up front. And, uh, you know, when, when offensive linemen, thank you, when offensive linemen are telling you, you know, run the ball, run the ball, we're moving them, we're moving them, you know, I'm not going to say no. The defense got burned at times, but it was a pick six by senior Garrett Taylor in his last game that gave Penn State a boost. Their offense was making plays. Um, we did a good job of holding some field goals sometimes, but we knew we were going to have to get a turnover, a takeaway, uh, points on D to do something to you know, change the game. I think it was going to come down to the team who had a defensive stop, a uh, defensive turnover, and we got one, one late when we needed it, and we ended up finishing with one. So, real great, real momentum changing. What a week we've had at the Cotton Bowl this week. Penn State gets its 11th win of the season. Now you can look ahead to next year where expectations are high. Penn State is hoping that it can make the college football playoff and at least be in that picture come next season. Reporting from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas, Peter Terpster for Nittany Nation. All right, thanks, Peter. Have a safe trip home.